You are now listening to Crossfire with Shan and Junsen. We're talking about kids, and the question comes out: Are they a, a liability on asset? Because when I was in uni, my lecturer had asked us in accounts class: Kids, are they a liability on an asset? Then a lot of people would say that those that have kids, they would say there's an asset because they said, "Oh no, it's an investment. When they grow bigger, mm-hmm. they will take care of us." But then he asked one question: What happened if they actually decided to abandon you? Mm. Mm. Then the whole class actually went quiet, and they said, "Yeah, it could be a liability actually, yeah. as the I mean, the value depreciates after a while, especially if you didn't bring them up well." I know. I got a smart ass answer for that. Mm-hmm. It's equity. <laughs> Go up or down. <laughs> so, you're saying, so you're saying kids are an investment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're an investment for your future. Yeah, if they're bad investment, then so you know you're screwed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because like some people, they, they will be saying that um, kids, whether is it okay to have kids? <coughs> because like you look at some family, they actually struggle so much just to bring up their kids, mm. and their kids end up being a, the scum of the society and all these things. So manage the society. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. So the question comes in whether you know. Is it right to have kids? Uh, is it about wrong parenting? I suppose the first thing to think about is why would you have kids? Mm-hmm. So if let's say you're in a relationship mm-hmm. and you're with this girl, that is a good that is a good way to start. You, why would you have why, kids? Why have kids mm-hmm. in first place? Yeah. Like, women like there are no girls here. Uh, fortunately, stroke unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, vis a vis. Yeah, but girls say, oh yeah, well you know they have that maternal instinct to have. I want something to love me and stuff. Huh, uh, from okay. A, okay. from a man's <laughs> perspective, like why would you have a kid? Who wants to answer this first? Ooh, tough question. Why don't go with the married ones? <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, there's only one of us. Only Jensen, <laughs> and there's the soon to be married as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no hell no. Bang. Oh, that. So yeah, once with kids and once who are getting married. Yeah, How Jensen? Jensen huh? You'll be the main one. Yeah. Well, the thing is, um, kids. It really depends on whether are you ready to be a parent or not. And you're like, never ready. You're never ready. I've discussed this with my wife for the longest time mm. and we decided that let's put that on hold first because at the moment our lifestyle, finance, a lot of things doesn't match up to have a kid because to have a kid, there's a huge responsibility. I look at how my sister actually handle her kids and my God, I don't think so I'm ready for that, man. How many does she have, sorry? Two. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they're still toddlers. Was, yeah, one of them is not even a year old yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was your sister ready to have kids? Yeah, she was. Mm. Yeah, she was. Mm. But from my perspective, it's always like, the guys who are not yeah. ready. When I look at it, it's like, oh, yeah. oh no way, man! <laughs> I'm yeah. not ready for that. Like, really. Both of them are working. Uh, yeah. yeah, both of them are working. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got two mm-hmm. kids now. So the thing is, I see mm-hmm. what she went through. I mean, of course, she said that it is something like um, a blessing. But she didn't say it's a burden. But you can see that it's very tough for her. It's a challenge because for them to it's actually hard work. Yeah, and it's like you you spend a whole day in office, and you come home, you have to take care of a kid, and a baby somewhere, and then you will have sleepless nights and all those things. And the next day, you have to go to work again. So sometimes, in the modern society, I would say where the husband and wife have to work. It is a little bit difficult to take care of the kids, and a lot of people say, "Ah, no way! You send to the daycare of everything." Then the daycare would be more like a mother than you ever be or a father. Do they have a maid? No maid, no, no maid. Ah, huh? so they're doing everything on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how do you feel, man? Like uh, you, you're, you're married two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, next step is having kids, ah, right? Because mm-hmm. you're all together and all that. Mm-hmm. So you think it'd be a burden, or right now for you? At the moment, now I wouldn't say it's a burden. But I would say that I will mm, not, not ready. ready for it. Not ready. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil the kid's life. Yeah, uh-huh. but not ah, because you're not there for him. Not so being you, there. you're, you're yes. coming from a good place. Yeah. yeah, because you're chasing for your money, trying right. to raise your yeah. kids. Because you know, education and everything, damn expensive now. Yeah. So when you are, you're looking for money and, and you're looking... But the kid won't know that. He's not just say, uh, father's not here all the time. Yeah. He's loafing around, <laughs> playing Street Fighter with Uncle Prashad. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and when he turns up, yeah. he'll have a smile on his face. Yeah. They're innocent. They don't know what's going uh, on. Yeah. yeah. All you yeah. know is. But yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a 24 hour thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You got to clean your poop. Mm-hmm. You got to bathe. Mm-hmm. You got to feed six times when it's a baby and then later on, four or five times a day. And then when they go to school, you're going to worry about bullying, school clothes, blah, 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 syllabus. A lot of people want to go to international schools these days because mm-hmm. they, they can afford it. 
but not everyone can afford going to international school. Public Correct. schools are the way to go. Yep. You toughen up over there. Do you want to send your kid to uh, a public school? Look at the millennials these days. Mm-hmm. They're getting away with everything. Rude, obnoxious. Exactly. Entitled. S- entitlement is the main word. That, and the I word. don't get it. That, that's the thing also. Because when I look at all these kids, is their, their parents are always not really there for them. And to compensate that, this for my op- opinion, like, to compensate that, I buy things for you. You get an iPad. Bribe. Yeah, mm. I bribe you with toys, everything. Okay, you play, you don't kind of disturb me, I'm busy in my work. So I, when I look at that in that angle, do I want to do that to this living being, which I call my kid? And I, I think call him my son. Very sad, like, this topic. <laughs> No. Yeah. Everybody's giving me the look. No, yeah. no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Like mm-hmm. when I was in college, there was this girl who was ignored by her family very much because they're very busy mm-hmm. uh, chasing money, you know, supporting themselves, whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And when she turned eighteen, her dad said, "Look, I know I haven't really looked after you very much when you're growing up. So here's a C-class Mercedes Benz." Mm-hmm. And she just gave it back to the dad. I said, "Look, I don't want wow. this." She said, "No, look. I mean, like, you know, yeah. there's something more valuable than mm-hmm. a car." Mm-hmm. And that's your love, Daddy. That was That's your, your love. Yeah, that wasn't that you did. You didn't give that to me. I thought it was kind of silly. You know, mm-hmm. I thought I was mm-hmm. just taking them. As a silver lining, happy story, lah. <laughs> you could have made it an S class at least. <laughs> How is she doing now? How is huh? she doing now? Any She's idea? dating a boyfriend with an S class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got, yeah. I got to earn yeah, my S class. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. So, How is she doing now? She, you still in, still in, still in uh, touch with her? No, I don't keep in touch with her anymore. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 But yeah, it's a thing, isn't it? That's what happens. So, right. Prashant, how are you going to get it's married right. soon, kids? So? Soon? Because, dude, you'll be a, you'll <laughs> well, be a crazy... Are you trying to say <laughs> that he's got a baby on the way? <laughs> I am a you baby on the first. way. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first, kid. Ah, what are you all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> News flash. <laughs> you all, all the, just want to go to bachelor all the, party, that's all. all. The families. Yeah, that's all I'm interested <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, Las party. Vegas bachelor party. Yeah, that's exactly, all. that's all I'm interested in. That's the baby we're looking for. Exactly, yeah. But you're really, you've been awfully quiet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've just been sitting there. Yeah, because I'm like the worst person to ask about kids. Why yeah. not? I'm like probably the furthest away from having kids among all of us. No, he's me. Got no, no, he's got kids that he doesn't know about. Away. Yeah, I got. I'm in the I same boat. I don't care boat. about my kids, man. I, yeah. I, I, I quote David Duchovny: "Kids shouldn't have kids." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so don, yeah. What's but, your thoughts? But back to the fact that it's a burden. I think I read recently that it takes about. 200,000 ringgit to raise a kid from birth to 18 years old in this country. That's cheap. Little. That's no, cheap. that's 18, not university. 18, not university. Not university. Not university. And this 18. is basically... Still cheap. That's right? quite it's low. It's still cheap. Quite low. Yeah. 200,000 is very cheap. Because like um, birth itself, mm. it take you almost 20k already. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. Where the are you giving birth, man? Formula and all that. <laughs> Malaysia, <laughs> man. Malaysia. It could be a different currency. It could be USD. Dollars. Pounds. Euros. But I still a lot of me, so financially speaking, it is a burden, undoubtedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But once again, when it comes to kids, it's all about family planning, mm-hmm. making sure that you are ready, secure, and capable, most importantly, mm-hmm. of having kids and having the right amount of kids with your resources. Yep. That, I think, would be the most important thing. It's not have kids or don't have kids. It's have, like, Proper, proper uh, ability to take care of the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, but actually that's a good point. Like you say, you have to be ready, but like, think about it from our, our parents' point in time. Do you think they were ready to have kids when they were at that point? Do you think they were financially secure and all that stuff? They weren't. I think most people will say that our parents, they weren't in that state where oh yes, I'm ready to have kids. They just went on and did it, and a lot of people go on and do it. And I'd say, like, for all of us, our parents have did a pretty good job, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I wish I could be as good as a parent as my parents yep. have been to me. And mm-hmm. I, think, I think all of us Th- can That's say what that. I thought also, yeah. Yep. You know, yep. mm-hmm. all of us can say that. So, the, the problem with staying and waiting and waiting for the right time is that that right time may not ever be there. there you will always have problems. There will always be something that you worry about, mm-hmm. okay? And the older you get, especially for women... Mm-hmm. You know, there are a lot of... You get 99 problems. You get 99 uh, problems. In and babies right. are all of them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, yeah, you know, you've got Down syndrome, you've got problems at pregnancy, at mm-hmm. birth, and all that, which is associated with age. You know, the older you get, you may also have fertility issues as well. That's right. That's a big mm-hmm. thing. So, you know, there's a lot of other issues to 
take into account as well. Mm-hmm. So you're thinking, about, oh, I need to be right. Maybe not. But I'll say, like, uh, okay, for example, we know about a lot of people who migrated to, for example, Australia, England, mm-hmm. to go and raise kids there. Uh-huh. You have a kid in Australia, you get your PR there, the kid gets to study, and it's very cheap, man. Compared to being from a foreign country, going overseas to study, you're paying almost five times more. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you can pay less. So a lot of people are smart. They go there, find work, get the kids born there, so they can have kids early. Yeah, in a lot Malay, of them say they do it for the kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're doing it mm-hmm. for the kids, you know, but mm-hmm. they know it's a huge investment over there. Mm-hmm. Three kids, you at least one and a half million bucks from the time they're born to college. You know, rent, everything, blah, 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 so on and so forth, tuition fees. Um, in Malaysia, Car repair damage. Yeah. <laughs> <You've got laughs> travel, yeah. logistics. Mm-hmm. I think kids, uh, a lot of people in Malaysia actually get married early. Mm-hmm. They get married early. They have kids. They have many kids because they know that over here, sometimes certain things that you, you do, you are able to, uh, you have subsidies. Mm-hmm. You have help. Mm-hmm. You know, government help, so on and so forth. So you can have a kid. So, if you're in a country where they encourage you to have a child, mm-hmm. you can get married early. You can have kids. Mm-hmm. Not a kid. You can have kids. D- Denmark, you go there, you have a kid. Government will help you. If you don't have money, you need a place to stay. You can get some money for a while. Once you get on your own two feet, your yeah, you know, yeah, social thing. welfare is yeah, good. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. there. So, whether countries like Malaysia, Turbo kind, there's no social welfare. There's mm-hmm. some guys like you, us, we're sitting down, we're thinking... I'm not ready. Mm, I need gonna money. I'm going to survive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, formula is expensive. Some of you will breastfeed. Some of you will do formula. A lot of people are going formula now because mm-hmm. even though you married your wife, it takes a toll on the woman. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and the disease. You know, yeah. it, it passed down from well, it also breastfeeding. Your immune system, right? It's yeah. supposed to. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah. So you get the bad, but you also get the good. So many many young parents now are going to formula because the formula is proven. You won't get any of the bad stuff. Mm-hmm. You only get all the good stuff. So I think depending on which country you are, where you're staying in the world, what your economic situation is, the main. But if you are getting outside help, why not start having kids early? Because like Junsen said, fertility problems. Women are getting old. Men also are getting old. Mm-hmm. If you're not healthy, your sperm count is low. How are you going to have kids? I, I tell you why Indians have kids late. It's because when we were in school, Amma and Appa said, yeah. we have a girlfriend, <laughs> you see what happened to you. Yeah. Then we're in our 30s, hey, how come you're not dating anyone? Yeah. Eh? Then you have trouble finding have a woman to say yes. One, yeah. Unless <laughs> you're losing your hair and you're growing yeah. your belly. Yep. <laughs> Unless the girlfriend is rich. Ah. Why, why are you married early? Ah. Quickly, huh? You know, I asked the question earlier which wasn't answered. Which was? Why would you have a kid? Ah, Yes. To from carry the family name. From an evolutionary standpoint, it's quite simple. Yeah. Because even from the <laughs> I got such a good answer. <laughs> he wants to keep monkeys cell, alive. <laughs> bacteria. They're only to the most complex organisms. This, their purpose is to... Reproduce. Reproduce, exactly. <laughs> Ow! Carry on your DNA. Your, your genetic code. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think that's it. Down. I just think because sex is fun. And so the byproduct no, of sex if it's, is if it's kids. just that, you wouldn't see so much procreation of single-cell <laughs> organisms like bacteria and virus, something really small. Because they find sex There's too. No fun fun too. How do no you know fun that? There. Because a lot of it is asexual <laughs> reproduction. There's no, no fun in <laughs> itself. <laughs> ah. uh, right? So Unless you're a hermaphrodite. Yeah, we've got All those right. two. Yeah. Let's find a hermaphrodite amoeba, then we can talk about it. But... How do you I, got think, your I think that's it. <laughs> that would be a big thing. I don't need evolutionary it <laughs> So what, what do you think? What do you guys think about why do people have... To I just want to do it to carry the family name. Okay. Mm-hmm. And to keep the... But what if you get a daughter? And to keep... Uh, Would probos- you keep trying to get a son? Yes. And to keep the proboscis monkey species alive. <laughs> <laughs> they pass on a genetic code. I think... No, I just producing more proboscis monkeys. I think going beyond a genetic code. Like, let's say you're in a relationship. Okay? You can only go so long with a person together. At some point, that relationship needs a higher purpose. Mm. And that would be something that ties two people together. Mm-hmm. And in this case, it would be a kid. Well, I was thinking of badminton. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Jensen. And this is Prashant. Tune in to our show where we throw everything on the table. What do you mean everything? Everything! Okay. Crossfire on Durian ASEAN. Every Friday at 6pm 